As always, I'd like to thank my guest, Joe Gordon-Levitt. And before we go, I have a very special announcement. With the help of my outstanding producer, Aaron Rappaport, I have secured the most important interview of the 21st century. Three weeks from tonight, I will be traveling to Pongyang, North Korea, to conduct the first globally broadcast interview with President Kim Jong-un. I am deeply humbled and profoundly honored to accept this most awesome responsibility. Apparently, Dave Skylark will be interviewing the dictator of North Korea. 100 books, Skylark thinks he's the guy from Gangnam Style. <laughs> Obscene glorification of a brutal dictator. This is a man who tortures, terrorizes, and starves his own people. Skylark is beneath this. despicable. Me? Meow. What a fucking bitch, am I right? <laughs> no, you're not right. He's not being a bitch. He's completely right. He's motherfucking peanut butter and jealous. He's not jealous. He's putting KY jealous all over his dick. What is there to be jealous of? Fuck is hate us because they ain't us. They hate us because we ain't us? What the fuck does an ain't us have to do with they this? They hate us because they ain't us. Ain't us. That's not what it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. They hate us because we is us, and what we is doing is fucking terrible. They fucking hate us because they ain't Stop us. Stop saying that. Hate us because they ain't us. They don't hate us because they ain't us. us. They don't hate us because they ain't us. I'm used to it. They hate us because they ain't us. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. it. Don't say it again. Baby. Hater's gonna hate. And ainer's gonna ain't. That is not an actual thing people say. This is what you do to haters. You just smile. What is that? Strongest ecstasy I've ever done in my life. Mr. Rappaport, I am Agent Lacey with Central Intelligence. This is my partner, Agent oh, Botwin. No, Aaron, whoever that is, tell him to fuck off. Dave, it's, uh, it's not... Yo, I don't know who I fucked last night, but I got some stink, dick. <laughs> Yo, my dick stinks. So weird how you, like, just want to keep smelling it, though. Yo, you got to come over and smell this shit. Yo, come smell this. You got to identify this. I don't know what it is. Excuse him. He is stink dick. <laughs> it kind of smells like guacamole. May we come in? Would you, um, like a drink or some of Aaron's cocaine? This is not our cocaine. This is no, I'm our... sure it's not. So, uh, how can we, uh, what can we do you for? Yeah, to what do we owe the pleasure? Well, yeah. Aaron, Dave, as I'm sure you know already, Kim Jong-un is now capable of nuking all of the West Coast. The point is, we're talking about nuclear nations at war with each other. Nuclear. He does have one tactical advantage over the West. He's more than willing to let millions and millions of his own people die. But bam explosions all over my face. I'm sorry, we had kind of a long night last night. Why are you telling us all this well, information? Well, we're telling you this because you two Lucky gentlemen are going to be in a room alone with him. Congratulations, mm -hmm. by the way. That's right! Which is part of the reason why we're here. The CIA would love it if you two could take him out. Hmm? Take him out. Take him out? Like, for drinks? No, no, no. Take him out. Take out? Like, to dinner? Take him out to a meal? Take him out. Like, on the town? Party? No, uh... Take him out. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? 
if we kill him, won't they just get another chubby dude with a goofy hairdo to come in and replace him? Exactly. And the same thing exactly. happens? Uh, actually, we're aware of a small faction in the existing leadership that already wants him gone. They want change. They're too scared to act alone, and they need you two to go in there, mm. remove Kim, mm. embolden them to revolt and take over. Are you, Agent Lacey, going to be involved? I'm going to be in your ear by your side every step of the way. And I have one answer. No more Kim. Uh, you know what, actually, I think we should talk about okay. it more. Okay, let's right. just, we're let's, just gonna we're go just talk. Gonna, we're just gonna okay. talk by about it. By all means. Okay. Just for the record. <laughs> I don't have stank dick. I think we need to do this. She is so cool. You don't see what's happening and it's so obvious. It's crazy, what? man. They're honeypotting us. What? It's an attractive spy woman who lures men into doing shit they're not supposed to do. How can you not see that? Because that is so sexist. Is it? This is 2014. Dude, women are smart now. Do you actually think she just so happens to have everything you find attractive? Bangs, giant tits, glasses. They're fake, man. Fake? Glasses? How could the CIA come up with such a thing? Well, that poor girl is blind as a bat. Okay, I'm just saying that when we're on Molly and when we're horned up, might not be Horned up? Time. You are horned up. Oh, please. You don't have a fucking chub right now. Take your hands away. Mm -mm. I saw the boner. I'm not taking my hands away. Move your fucking hands. Fine. You want to see it? Yeah. Feast your eyes. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go poop out these drugs. You're going to go jerk off these thoughts. If we both still want to talk about this afterwards, then we can. But not until then. Dave Skylar never backs down from